All right, here's the first story from the Daily Mail. Oh Armed man who attacked FBI's Ohio field office is dead. After five hour standoff, suspect also attended deadly Capitol riot. Now, we don't know exactly to what extent he was at the Capitol riot. I, I think that maybe the Daily Mail is reporting something different. I've read a bunch of other sources. The New York Times says that he was there the night before, but he's not been charged with any crimes. But let's uh, let's read and see what they say. Ricky Walter Schiffer was shot dead by police Thursday after he raised a gun towards officers around 3 p.m. State Highway Patrol confirmed Schiffer had attempted to break into the office, prompting a five hour standoff with authorities. The body armor wearing suspect fled the office and was chased onto, high, onto the highway, man, copy editor guys, before abandoning <laughs> his car by a cornfield on a country road just off of Interstate 71. The confrontation came as officials warned of an increase in threats against federal agents in the days following the search, a search of former President Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate in Florida. Investigators say Schiffer was also at the U.S. Capitol during the January 6th insurrection, they report. All right, well, they reported this stuff. I'm going to pull up some tweets that we have. Travis View says the New York Times identified the Ohio shooting suspect as Ricky Schiffer. There is a truth social account using that name. On the same day, the FBI executed a warrant on Mar-a-Lago. The account made a call to be ready for combat. And I'm not going to read what he said next, but he mm -hmm. called for extreme violence. Wow. In the end, one of the last things he said was that, um, yeah, I, can't, I, I, don't wanna, I, I don't think we should read exactly what he said. But he explained that he thought he had a way to get through bulletproof glass. He was wrong. He did not. But this could explain why it was reported that he fired a nail gun at the, at, at the FBI. Now, I read on NBC he fired at the agents, but perhaps they said towards them instead of at was because there was bulletproof glass he was not able to penetrate. But apparently this Ricky Schiffer guy on Truth Social was saying that he did it. And if you don't hear for him, it's because they got him or something to that effect. So um, I guess my view on things, obviously... George Conway, all right, I'm going to make sure I cite George Conway on this one. <laughs> he said they crossed the Rubicon. This is anti-Trumper George Conway. They crossed the Rubicon, which is an insinuation that a faction of people have crossed the point of no return towards what? A civil war? Yeah, is but they, oh, uh, there's no thing. There's no, but just some random dude that went crazy, in my opinion. No, 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 no. He's, he's talking about the Democrats and the FBI. Right. Specifically, so uh, Ian, you, you've 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 talked quite a bit about you know ancient Rome and stuff like that. The um, crossing of the Rubicon. Yeah, was it was it was war. forbidden in Rome. There was a river right outside the city, and if if I get any of this wrong, just correct me in the chat, and I'd be happy to go over it again. But that it was illegal to ever bring troops across the river into the city of Rome. That was something they'd all decided. It was too dangerous. So when Caesar was off on campaign, he had you know however many hundreds thousands of troops that just basically worshipped him. And when he decided he came back to Rome, he's like. They were going to try and put him on trial to strip him of his power. And he was like, you know what? No, I want Rome. He crossed the Rubicon he, with his troops, took the city, and they called it forever known as the crossing of the Rubicon. Is when you've taken that step, the one step too far. And they, that was the... That was the start of the Civil War. That was basically the end of the Roman Republic and the beginning of the empire. So... There was this uh, leftist outlet that they were like, the far right is saying this, that, or otherwise, or something like that. And uh, they said, Tim Poole said they crossed the Rubicon. And I'm like, yeah. And so did George Conway. Like, this is not a call to anything. It's a statement of, it's an observation. I think they did. Yeah. And uh, first and foremost, obviously, uh, let me just say one thing. This dude who went to the FBI field office must have really wanted Democrats to win. Because, the, I mean, we're, we're months out from the midterm election, and well, surprisingly, he did exactly what the Democrats needed. He got violent, failed, and now the Democrats have their example of what's wrong with the right. That's why the craziest thing to me is like now is the absolute worst time for anything like that. And this is why I say violence doesn't work. We are, we are months away from Republicans taking the House and the Senate in what the misery index predicts will be a crushing defeat. Except now in the past few months, Democrats have evened out in the polling. Something like this happens. I think yeah. we're going to see Democrats spiking in the polls because of this. 